Hey, God bless you. God bless you. May he continue to shower his blessings upon you. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, good day. Put it all together. Just pinch yourself and see that you are alive and well. And begin to give thanks and glory to his name because you are part of the living. You are among the selected, the divine selection. And we thank him for it. This is a brand new week. A brand new week. God has been gracious to us. And beloved, we have every reason to rejoice and be glad in it. Top it all, this is the day the Lord has made that we ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Hello there. This is your brother, your friend, servant of God. Put it all together. Patrick Quino bringing you faith moment, a time where we get into the word of God together to remind ourselves, take an inventory and um, to check ourselves concerning the things God has said to us. And uh, we cannot, you know, um, be complacent because the enemy, listen, wherever God is, there is Satan. Are you listening? And so if we are dealing in the things of God, then be mindful also that he's also around to um, duplicate. All right. To duplicate and um, um, try to, um, you know, let him look like God. But he is not. But if you don't, if you don't um, have that mindset, you will think that all is of God, but it's not. So. What makes the difference is for you to know that it takes the Holy Spirit to help you to know the difference between that which is of God and that which is not. Shall we have a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this blessed day you have given unto us. We are very, 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 very grateful, very grateful that you've counted us worthy of giving us another opportunity to live, move, and have our being. Spirit of the living God, nothing of me, all of you. Yes, we are penetrating and saturating the atmosphere. The atmosphere, which is controlled by the prince of the air. Yes, with the gospel. He can stop it. No one can. So do your people good. And bless them with understanding heart. That as they receive this word, we shall increase and no longer be destroyed. In Jesus' name, amen. Wherever you are under the sound of my voice, um, I believe that it is such an opportunity to um, bring the word of God to you and uh, you to be part of it also. Beloved, the whole thing is to just to remind ourselves as to what God has given to us. The promises for which if we lack understanding, cannot enjoy the promises. We cannot receive and to even enjoy the promises in this dispensation of grace. And so, uh, Faith Moment is a platform that brings you to the place of understanding. Putting something in your mind for you to think, hmm, okay. That's what it's all about. That is all. That is what it's all about. So, I I want you to, um, if you are listening, I want you to uh, please share this with your friends. Tag your friends right now. Do me a favor. Let them know that Faith Moment is on, and right now it's a time to um, share with your friends. Tag everybody. Please let them know that this is an important event. And um, somebody's life would definitely uh, be illuminated by understanding the Word of God. Are you listening? This week, this week we'll be talking about the fact that, um, let me title this segment for this week, The Holy Spirit or the World. The Holy Spirit or the World. Um, in other words, you the listener you have to make a choice you have to make a choice it's either the holy spirit or the world because you cannot 
let me say this again you cannot have both you can't have both it don't it will not work both do not coexist both co cannot coexist all right in your life so the holy spirit or the world the holy spirit or the world some god bless you for coming please share this broadcast to all your friends talk somebody all right it's either the holy spirit or the world the world is a flesh the holy spirit is a spirit of god that represents the things of god so it's either the holy spirit or the world and you got to choose one because both do not coexist now the scripture tells us that the world do not even know who the holy spirit is and so if you want to live in this world and do the things of this world then you will then you will not know who the holy spirit is because the holy spirit does not the world does not know the holy spirit according to john chapter 14. all right the world does not know the holy spirit the world does not know the holy spirit i want to repeat myself because this is what jesus said and we must really take this in seriously so it's either the world or the holy spirit or the holy spirit or the world we are living in this world believers but we are not of this world we are living in this world but we are not of this world and so therefore do not do things as the world do do your do things as the holy spirit directs very important and uh, the times we are living in if you if you play if you play with your spiritual life beloved i am telling you as god is not a respect of person so is the devil he in respect of persons either are you listening remember that anything that god does he wants to copycat it he wants to duplicate it he wants to you know take it and and make it look like original the only way you are going to see that it's not an original thing okay is for you to have the holy spirit he's the only person who can tell you other than that you will miss it beloved if anybody tells you otherwise don't believe him the only person who can show you the things the original things of god and the duplicated same thing of god by the devil is the holy spirit did, did i did i say that well in other words it will only take the holy spirit for you to know the original of god and the fake that looks like original by the devil and so if you are a child of god if you call yourself a believer but don't have the holy spirit with you in you dwelling with you then this platform is a reminder that it's so essential it's so important it's it's super important for you to look for the holy spirit and walk with him get so closer because beloved the times we are living in it's a time not to play if you play that's you know uh, 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 there's a saying that if you play around the snake it will bite you are you listening don't play don't play you cannot put one feet here and another foot there it's either the Holy Spirit or the world but I came to remind somebody that Jesus says the world does not know the Holy Spirit the world don't know the Holy Spirit and beloved if the Holy Spirit is not dwelling and living in you you are not even considered a child of God oh, oh. yes I'm gonna prove it to you you are not even considered pastor Ezekiel God bless you if the Holy Spirit it's not living dwelling with you and living in you 
you are not even considered a child of God. All right. First of all, the world does not know the Holy Spirit. Jesus said that. Go with me now to uh, John chapter 14. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All right. Go to chapter 14 of the book of John. Let me show you something there. John chapter 14. All right, now look at verse 17. Verse 16 first, just so that you can, um, you can understand this. Verse 16. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper. Are you listening? Jesus says, I will pray the Father, he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The helper will abide with you forever. The helper will abide with you forever. I will send, give you, I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. Verse 17, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because the world neither sees him nor knows him. The world cannot receive the Holy Spirit. Why? Because the world do not know him, they cannot receive him because they don't know him in your life that you must understand is very 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 important the world cannot receive him because the world don't know him anything you don't know you cannot receive it all right are we in john if you are not there just go with me john chapter 14 past ezekiel john chapter 14 all right verse 16 let me read that again to you jesus says i will pray the father and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever the helper will abide with you forever even the spirit of truth that's the spirit of truth jesus says when he comes he will lead you into all truth so if you want to know the truth of the matter of whatever it may be just get the Holy Spirit even the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive the world cannot receive him because the world neither sees him nor knows him but you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you now ask yourself this question do you know him do you know him do you know him because the scripture says that you know him and referring to the believers referring to the believers do you know him if you do not know the holy spirit beloved he is not not dwelling with you and he's not in you then you are of the world and the things of the world is different from the things of the spirit of god and how do you advance your course if you are going to play both sides it cannot work it cannot and so therefore check yourself to find out if the spirit of god is dwelling with you and is in you now Go with me to uh, Romans. Let me confirm or affirm why I'm saying this. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Romans the 8th chapter. Romans the 8th chapter. Go with me there. Romans the 8th chapter. Now there, okay. Look at verse 9. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you, now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. Did you see that? If anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. 
The question is, do you have the Spirit of Christ? I know this is not the type of messages that will make you shout, praise the Lord, hallelujah, and what you want to hear. But this is the practical fact of your life. Choose this day whom you will serve. Is the Holy Spirit in you? Or he's not. But if you, but you are not in the flesh, the Bible says. But in the spirit. Watch this now. He's giving, giving you the credit right there. Before. If anyone does not have the spirit of Christ. He is not his. Now, who is the Spirit of Christ? The Holy Spirit. The one whom Christ sent when he, Christ, departed. In Acts chapter 2, we, we see the confirmation of the promise that Christ gave that even the disciples ought to wait until the Holy Spirit has come. Before they go out and, and talk about the, the, good, the good news. The things now, now they have... They, they have come to believe. You see, it's always, always, always when, you know, you, you, like they said, you don't know what you have until you don't have it anymore. You don't know what you have until you don't have it anymore. Then you realize, oh, wow, I lost something. Now they realize that, whoa, Jesus. Oh boy, how we wish he was here. But let's go and tell the world. But Jesus said, no, don't, you, don't do that yet until you have been empowered. Because the world do not know him. But you do. Because you see the things that I did. Because he empowered me to do the things that I did. Remember when I was baptized, he came upon me. You were not baptized, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you will be baptized. Oh, glory be to God. You will be baptized by the Holy Spirit. Because I sent him. And when he is come, he will lead you into all truth. You will be able to do things, the things that I did, and even greater works shall you do. Beloved, when I talk, I'm talking about the greater works with the Holy Spirit. Not just the name greater works. Greater works with the Holy Spirit. Get people baptized, you know, heal the sick. Clear out demons out of people. Setting the captives free. Open the blind eyes. Greater works with the Holy Spirit. Greater works with the Holy Spirit shall you do, Jesus says. But do you know him? Do you have him? Is he dwelling with you? Is he in you? For that's what Jesus says. That he will pray the Father to send you another helper. Another helper. Beloved, that helper has come. That helper is here with us. But there's another spirit called the spirit of error. Whom we see cast down here onto the earth according to John the same John the Revelator in Revelations chapter 12 read from verse 7 down you see it and so the question is who are you serving the spirit of truth or the spirit of error the spirit of truth or the spirit of error choose whom you will serve today because beloved you cannot be you can be at both sides no if you want to have the full meal you got to choose you got to belong to a company I remember the scripture says when when Peter and John were, were put in prison and when they were finally rele released, the Bible said that they went, to, they went to their company. They went to their own company and reported 
all that the high the chief priests and all those people did and said on all those things they went to their own company which company do you belong to the company of believers or the company of the world which one jesus says the world cannot receive him why because they don't know him the holy spirit and so beloved if that is the case then you check yourself and find out are you in the world or is the holy spirit in you living in the world because then people around you should know there's something different about you from them because if not you you will be like them and they will see no difference they will not see no difference and if nobody sees no different things about you if nobody is seeing nothing different about you then you are the same but the holy spirit makes difference are you listening to me you cannot have the spirit of christ and not look different or even sound different somebody will ask you there's something about you what is i mean i don't there's something about you yes that's something they call that they, because they don't know him the holy spirit they call him something and because some of you yourself you've given your life to to, uh, to christ but yet you don't know the holy spirit giving your life to jesus does not mean you know the holy spirit beloved giving your life to jesus or accepting him does not mean you know the holy spirit you must receive the baptism of the holy spirit you must welcome him the disciples they were with jesus they accepted jesus finally they accepted jesus yes but did they have the holy spirit no until they waited to receive him so being born again doesn't stop right there beloved it doesn't stop right there without the holy spirit no you can't you can't go you can't go far you can't go far do you know him jesus says the world don't know him they cannot receive him because they don't he, they don't know him how can they receive something they don't know but you and I have to show him, show the world who he is. Hmm? But if we are living just like the world, and then on Sunday look very religious and holy, what's the difference? What is the difference? Oh, by the way, because he cannot coexist, so he's probably not with you and you are thinking he's with you i'm not here to judge nobody but i believe that the holy spirit has left some locations some people and we because we are very very good and you know with with with, with talents we are operating through the talents and not the spirit when was the last time the Holy Spirit spoke to you? When was the last time you you heard the Holy Spirit spoke to you, and when you acted on His word, you saw the manifestation of what He says come to pass. Oh yeah, I'm checking myself every every day, and I'm hearing His voice, and I'm acting on it, and I'm seeing. This past um, or the Saturday something took place in you know uh, around me and um i remember just about maybe 10 or so minutes later that incident took place the holy spirit says take communion take communion so i thought you know just take communion i'm going to take communion he says no walk to the door 
walked to the door i obeyed and walked to my door opening open the door and says just do the communion right there something I, I have never done before I, I haven't done before so i said stand right in front of the door and take the communion no just perform the communion perform this ordinance right in front of your door beloved i did i did listen to, i'm telling you when you get to hear from the holy spirit i did so i took the communion prayed over it and did what he told me to do right in front of my door entrance of the door i closed the door and i came just relaxing and meditating and communicating with him every now and then and all that and uh, just about maybe half an hour or so later i think wasn't really sure by the time but i i, I would say within within the hour Beloved, all I heard was a cry of some animal. I won't mention the name. I just don't want to mess up some of you animal lovers. And I'm hearing, and I'm saying, ah, this is kind of strange. But it sounds more like it's close to my door. It sounds more like it's close to my door. And I first made an attempt to go and open the door the spirit of God says don't don't and so this was Saturday I didn't go to the door and I it just didn't bother to open the door until yesterday beloved and I kept hearing I kept hearing the, the cry or the noise of this animal. I kept hearing, I said, like, what is this kind of strange? Finally, I, well, I didn't open the door, I opened it yesterday. And lo and behold, lo and behold, two of the, the, the sound of these animals were right behind my door. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? right behind my door staring at my face uh -huh. i used what was in my hand to just they were trying to come closer to me i used one of my hand to just kick you know out and i left and i saw a neighbor so i was talking to the neighbor and i said what, what is this and she says they are not from this neighborhood I've been here a long time and I haven't seen they are not from here and I don't even know and I've seen them I you know one was trying to get down you know to to my place and I, I just saw them coming to where you are and they've been there beloved you think the Holy Spirit does not talk I don't know who I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to but if you want to play church want to be religious religious people are not spiritual people beloved are you listening to me the Holy Spirit speaks and you got to walk with him to hear him I came back to try to drive them away and they wouldn't leave i'm getting a little bit upset now it's like where y'all coming from where you sent and uh, whatever whoever sent you and wherever you're coming from you going back get out one run crying run out, and the other one was like i am not leaving i am not leaving finally i mean i have to take something in my hand to let it see that I'm serious get out it went listen to me now it went just a distance from me stood there and was staring at my face now I understood what I was dealing with and I said let me tell you something look straight in my eyes I am as serious as 
heart attack like somebody says i am as serious as heart attack if i see you right in front of this my door here again i will kill you because i know now that you are not a friendly animal i understand this is, I, I understand what is going on here oh the communion has done something in the realms of the spirit beloved you got to hear from the holy spirit i'm telling you i am telling you and i just opened my door and i went in i wanted to go out again to just look at it if they've left the holy spirit says no so i have not opened the door till right now i have not and i'm about to go open the door now when i finish this broadcast beloved what am i saying to you is that if the holy spirit is not dwelling with you and in you you will not hear from god and i did not say this but i dare to say that you are not of christ if the spirit of christ is not in you i didn't say that look at verse 9 of chapter 8 romans chapter 8 look at verse 9 but you are not in the flesh but in the spirit if indeed the spirit of god dwells in the spirit of god dwells in you if indeed now that is where you need to ask yourself and check yourself if indeed the spirit of god dwells in you now if anyone does not have the spirit of christ if anyone if anyone does not have the spirit of christ he is not of him he is not his if you don't have the spirit of christ you don't belong to christ so hey pastor but I, I'm, I'm a christian i'm going to church and all that why do you see demons in church do they have the spirit of christ why do you see demons in church oh maybe you didn't know satan goes to church too but he cannot coexist with the holy spirit in the church that is filled of the holy spirit he cannot coexist there he can't are you listening because watch this look at verse verse um, verse 5 of uh, chapter 8 romans for those who live according to the flesh the things of the world set their minds on the things of the flesh but those who live according to the spirit the things of the spirit the world is full of fleshly stuff i mean just open your eyes like my 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 son used to say daddy my teacher say i should shine my eyes <laughs> shine your eyes and see the fleshly stuff the fleshly stuff fleshly stuff i mean i i i was in in town last week and going into an office just literally walking and i saw a lady walk and a, and and broad daylight broad daylight a working day man of god god bless you apostle sean johnson broad daylight a lady walking literally naked literally literally naked i mean what she's wearing there's no way your eyes couldn't not couldn't look but beloved and i'm looking at broad daylight working hours entering into an office just about the same office where i'm going and i'm saying my goodness where is, i mean where is the world anymore oh then I, I i i i got an answer right there 
Well, that's that's the end of times. That's the end of times. Jesus says, He says, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not of Him. So going to church does not mean that the Spirit of Christ is in you. Because demons go to church too. Do they have the Spirit of Christ? So don't take church to be that you are part of it. Beloved, you got to make up your mind. I am, I am starting this series this week with you. The Holy Spirit or the world. Romans 8. Look at verse 5. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. Verse 6. For to be kind, carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Oh, I don't have no peace. There's no peace in my house. Da, 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 da. Well, you are, check your spiritual barometer. Are you in the spirit or are you in the flesh? Verse 7. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it is a subject, it is not subject to the law of God. The carnal mind is not subject to the law of God. No, indeed can be. The carnal mind, the things of the... I mean, you, you look at some of these young guys these days and you wonder, do they really like the, the pants they are wearing? I almost asked one of them the other day, I said, listen, if you don't like this pants you are wearing, just take it off because obviously you want people to see your underwear. So what is this? You are wearing the pants, but the pants is hanging on your knee, just showing your underwear. Why are you wearing the pants? Craziness. Now you tell me that's not crazy. You tell me that's not great. To be carnally minded, to be carnally minded, you are an enemy of God. The Bible says, I didn't say that. And so therefore, make up your mind. Are you of the Spirit? Is the Holy Spirit dwelling with you? And is the Holy Spirit with you? And is the Holy Spirit in you? Is the Holy Spirit dwelling with you? Because that is what Jesus says. Jesus says in, in John chapter 14 verse, verse 16. He says, I will pray the Father to send you another helper. And he will lead you into all truth. Verse 17 says, even the Spirit of truth. That's who he is. The Holy Spirit. The Spirit of truth. Even the spirit of truth, who the world cannot receive, because why the world don't know him. How can they receive what they don't know? But you do. The reason why I believe that Jesus says you do is because you've heard of him, but you don't know him. Hearing of somebody and knowing that person is two different things, beloved. Do you know the whole ah Bosha? Do you know the Holy Spirit? Do you know him? How do you say you know him? When was the last time he spoke to you? When was the last time you spoke to him? Do you know the Holy Spirit? Beloved, it is it is not just by saying I'm going to church and or I'm even giving my life. If the Holy Spirit was not an important person in our life in this dispensation jesus yes we, we thank him for bringing us into this new covenant 
by his blood. If not, we will be in that, in that old, old covenant and still be having some curses on our lives because whatever we are not able to obey, curses come upon our lives. And you and I know that we couldn't obey it. We the Gentiles, if we had even come into it, we couldn't even obey it. So thanks be to Jesus for coming to share his blood, to bring us into this new dispensation because no more shedding of blood for the remission of our sins. No more. No more. But it doesn't stop right there. It doesn't stop right there. Jesus says you must. Remember what John the Baptist says? He says, I am baptizing you with water for the repentance of your sins. But he who is coming after me, who is greater, whose sandal strap, I, can, I am not even qualified to unstrap it. He will baptize you, check this, with the Holy Spirit and with fire. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Beloved, John the Baptist did not baptize with the Holy Spirit. He baptized with water. And he himself said, the one coming after me who is greater, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. With the Holy Spirit. Hey! Ay, 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 ay. With the Holy Spirit and with fire. Have you been baptized in the Holy Spirit? Have you been baptized with the Holy Spirit? In the past couple of weeks, we've been dealing about some, some subjects concerning the Holy Spirit. And we see how attractive the Holy Spirit is, even to demons. Now you see evil spirits, representative of, 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 of evil spirits, spirit of error, who even want the Holy Spirit. To do their their evil things do you know the holy spirit beloved i have come to to conclude this a, 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 you know a christian without the holy spirit i don't know i i don't know tell me otherwise i don't know and god has not released me from talking about the holy spirit and bringing you this series of who the Holy Spirit is. Because in this last days, beloved, without the Holy Spirit, I don't know how far you can go. That is why scripture says, even the elect <laughs> could be swayed. Because it would take the Holy Spirit for you to be able to seriously spiritually discern the original from fake there is a country in this world there's a country i won't mention their name there's a country in this world they don't have anything original but they they have taken they have sat down and seriously taken the original things from other countries and uh, Fake them, let them look so good, so looking nice, and today they have built an empire. And if you are if you are a business person or somebody who knows what's going on, you will know which country I'm talking about. They they don't have anything original, no. But they have been so 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 good to take what original countries manufacture and they have they have they've turned it put some nice stuff around it let it look so nice good to the eyes and today people are running to them even for loans and it's the same thing in the in the in the realms of the spirit beloved and even in your physical life that if you do not know, if you don't know by the Spirit, you will not be able to discern. Are you listening?
If the Spirit of Christ is not in you, you are not His. According to the Word of God. So ask yourself, is the, is the Spirit of Christ in me? Is the Spirit of Christ in me? Beloved, I, this is what I want anymore. Any more than anything else. To know that I don't even want to move forward anymore until I am I am hundred percent complete sure that the spirit of Christ is in me. I'm not in any more haste than I used to do before because I guess I was young, didn't have no sense. The book of Proverbs chapter two says that uh, wisdom will guide you. But understanding will keep you. Do you want to be kept for the next generation? Or you just want to have just the now excitement and be, and be, be gone, be, be, be gone tomorrow. Nobody will be here about you. Wisdom will guide you, but understanding will keep you. Beloved, you must have understanding of the Word of God. Because poor understanding of the Word of God will lead to your destruction. Poor understanding. Don't worry about the current situation. Don't, don't you, don't. Listen, I often say this. Bible says that Job was a spiritual man. Job. I believe Job had an understanding of who God is. And for that reason, he held on. The understanding kept Job for him to receive twice what he lost. Even when his foolish wife came to him and says, why don't you curse God and die? You are suffering. The, the current situation you are going glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The current situation you are going through right now. I mean, what is this? You used to have it before. What happened? What happened to you? You used to have it before. What is going on? What has happened to you? Job had an understanding. Job was a spiritual man. And so he looked at the wife and said, you speak like one of those foolish women. When God gave and we were enjoying it, you didn't see anything wrong. And when God has done this, listen to this, Job never blamed Satan for anything. Job never blamed Satan for anything. Beloved, Proverbs 2 will tell you that wisdom will lead you, but understanding will keep you. If you want to be kept for the next generation, have understanding. Are you listening to me? You want to be kept for the next generation? Listen, last week I said this thing to you. That I have, I caught a, a serious revelation about this scripture that says, The race, this race is not for the swift. This race is not for the swift. Are you listening? It's not. Because normally races are for whoever will be faster to get to the finish line to be the first and all that. But this race, this one, this spiritual one here is not for the swift. <laughs> this race, this one, it's not for the sweat. You want to run faster? You want to go be ahead of everybody? This is not the race you, are, you ought to be in. This race is not for the swift. I caught this. I caught the deeper revelation about this last week. And I realized, oh my goodness. Crap, pa, I'll almost say, almost mention uh, <laughs> Patrick. Take your time. Oh my goodness. Wisdom will lead you understanding will keep you beloved is the holy spirit is the, the spirit of christ in you or the spirit of error is operating in you the word of god says 
If anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he or she is not of him. If you don't have the spirit of Christ, why? Because the spirit of Christ is not known to the world. Jesus says that. The world does not know the Holy Spirit. Why? Because they cannot receive him and they don't know him. But you know him. John chapter 14, verse 16 and 17. You know him. You know him. But the question today is, do you really know him? Do you really know him? Do you really know the Holy Spirit? Do you know him? Verse 10. And if Christ is in you, if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. And verse 11 says, But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he, the spirit who raised Christ from the dead, will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you the spirit if he truly lives in you he will give life to your mortal body the spirit will not give death the spirit will not give diseases the spirit will not give sickness the spirit will not give you I mean, the spirit will give you life Jesus says, I have come to give you life and life more abundant. Remember before Jesus said that Satan, John has said that Satan came. He says, he came to steal, to kill and to destroy. John chapter 10 verse 10. Then Jesus says, but I have come that you may have life and have it more abundant. The spirit gives life. The spirit gives life. The spirit of Christ. Do you want the Spirit of Christ in you? Beloved, if you want the Spirit of Christ in you, let me pray for you right now. You, are, you don't have the Spirit of Christ in you. You have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you don't have His Spirit. Remember, John the Baptist says, Jesus, He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Jesus baptizes with the Holy Spirit. John baptized with water. So no Jesus, no Holy Spirit. Beloved, no Jesus, no Holy Spirit. So if you don't know Jesus and you have not received him to know him, you see what Jesus says, the world have not received the Holy Spirit because they don't know. How can they know him because they have not received him? So if you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you will not know him. And much more know his spirit who will who will dwell with you and be in you so if you are that person and if listen you may be i'm not talking about church forget about church going to church on sunday don't make you a a a, 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 um, a spirit-filled christian i mean that's going to mcdonald's give, make you a hamburger Have the understanding, beloved. Have the understanding. Because the understanding will keep you. And scripture says, they that have understanding cannot be destroyed. Are you listening? Cannot be destroyed. If the Holy Spirit has not spoken to me, for me to move on the ordinance of Jesus, on my front door who knows what these animals who were sent <laughs> would have done against me i believe they were paralyzed they were paralyzed <laughs> because these animals that bite they can just pound on you oh glory be to god do you know the holy spirit 
Do you know Christ? Let me pray for you right now. Don't waste no time. Don't waste no time. I'm going to do this right now and go and have the rest of the day take care of my business. But you have the opportunity right now to give your life to the Lord and allow the Holy Spirit to take over. Walk with Him. Talk to Him. Beloved, if you don't, what you have is the Holy Spirit. And if you don't walk with Him, talk with Him, and have Him as a friend, I mean, you don't call me, I don't call you, we don't talk. Would you know my voice? Would you know my voice? Would you know my voice? The other day I called somebody who I haven't talked for a long time. He says, uh, uh, please, who is this? I said, oh, I understand. It because it's been a long time since we spoke. You have forgotten my voice. Then he said, oh, I got it. I said, uh huh. That's what happens. The Holy Spirit is a gentleman. He doesn't force himself on nobody. You don't engage him. He's not going to be engaged. No. So pray this prayer right now to receive Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I've heard this word that I'm convinced that you must be my Lord and Savior. I am accepting you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life, into my heart. Take control, full control of me and baptize me in the Holy Spirit. Write my name in your book. Be my God. I need you and I thank you for receiving me. I believe it that you have received me and I have received you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Beloved, that's all you have to do. Sincerely, if you pray that prayer sincerely with all your heart, trust me, Jesus has come into your life. When we talk about born again, Jesus was telling uh, Nicodemus, we talk about spiritual birth. That's why Nicodemus, the, 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 the intelligent, you know, Bible scholar or the, the, the law, the scholar of the law who knows, you know, educationally well-versed, didn't understand. And Jesus was talking to him about spiritual birth. He said, but he says, Nicodemus, you of all people, because he was a religious man, acting like a spiritual person. And I, I mean, you know, the, you know the difference between spiritual people and religious people. We have a bunch of religious people in church. They are not spiritual. Nicodemus was one of them. I said, Nicodemus, I'm talking to you about spiritual stuff and you are thinking in, about religious stuff. Beloved, because we are spirit. And that is why God says, They that want to worship me, you must worship me in spirit. And so all these, you know, talents we are using in churches, that is not spirit-filled. It's allowing demons to just fill the house of God anymore. Quote-unquote house of God. But I will leave it right there. If you are just giving your life to Jesus and you don't have a Bible, get one. If you don't have a place where you can go and fellowship, find a Bible believing teaching church and plug yourself there. In the meantime, join me to receive more of God's word to impact your life and make your life better. For the times we are living in has nothing to do with church but everything to do with your walk with the Holy Spirit. I want to thank you for your time. But let me take this opportunity and um, express my appreciation so far for yesterday. I mean, the heavens open and, um, you know, our, our uh, fundraiser drive has kicked off this morning. I checked, you know, it's about hundred and something please I am not begging but I am just appealing to you go to my Facebook 
and look for that fundraiser and be part of it we are raising this money to buy this software and the media broadcast equipment so that we can we can we can do this if in a in a larger scale in a better way be able to broadcast this instantly live on all the social media instantly we we had a test of it we had a test of it uh if you have been joining this uh, or following this um uh, ministry for some time you realize that we used to have it instantly live on facebook live on on the twitter live on periscope live on youtube and all that it was a test and we see that is good for those who may be on facebook who may be on twitter who may be on periscope who may be on on youtube instantly everybody will be able to tune in so if you are not only on facebook like i'm doing now you will not be able to find it or you may not be able you'll be missing it so please help help with your financial support of any amount that the spirit of god will put in your heart some are doing hundred dollars some are doing this whatever so let us meet we have just a few days to to go on this please tap into it as you help the work of god as you help the work of god you know that god will not disappoint you either i am not saying that if you don't do it god will not bless you no that is not the right teachings god will choose to bless you whether you do or you don't but it's in the hands of god but i'm asking you whatever amount you can we all put in a little bit together and all that and then we'll be able to get it so that we can broadcast this and some of your friends who are not on facebook at the time of the broadcast but may be on twitter they will also be part of the broadcast god bless you nana um those who who may be not okay who may be uh not on facebook but will be on on youtube at the time will also get the broadcast all right so please go to the facebook and uh, to the to the fundraiser click the donate and whatever amount god puts on your heart all right we need your help we need we need your help we need your help well this is it so um if you want to use a cash app this is the number 914 area code 572 9816 all right <laughs> let me just uh, pause this for a second let me pause this for a second all right the area code again is 914-572-9816 if you want to use a cash app please do that all right let me just wish all the happy birthdays today of you celebrating your birthdays may the lord bless you may you live long and may you prosper for those who are having their exams, all right, I'm receiving some um, messages about some of my uh, sons and daughters having your school exams, midterm exams, and all that. Um, God bless you. Listen, you already, you already blessed. I don't have no doubt that you will not pass your exams, but I pray for you as well. Please go to the to the website www.patrickwenuministries.com. All right patrickwenuministries.com you see the fundraiser there please get involved let's have this um, 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 uh, equipment let's have this equipment and uh, be able to broadcast instantaneously instantaneously on all the social media so this way if you are not on Facebook uh, but on Twitter at the time of the broadcast you can see it if you are not on Twitter but you are on Periscope at the time you can see it if you are not on periscope but you're on youtube at the time of the broadcast you can see it all right we need that and we need this equipment so please support let us do it together all right today's message you can get it on facebook only only so go there and get it may god bless you may he shine his face upon you may 
you have and come to the place of understanding who the Holy Spirit is. Accept Him, walk with Him, and your life will never be the same. Till same time tomorrow, share the broadcast with your friends and loved ones. I want you to know you don't have no trouble. All you need is your faith in God. And in all that getting, get understanding.